Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey Flowers and I'm a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and on a journey to become 100% debt free. My current debt is over $200,000. I'm on baby step number two to repay 100% of all of my debts. My current income is between $1,500 and $2,000 as I work part time and run my company quarter time. In this video, I'm going to be going over the a budget review for the second week of August. So if you are interested in seeing where my money went and how I'm doing for the second week of August, please keep watching. So um, I don't know if you guys can tell, <laughs> but I am a little bit under the weather. I um, do not feel awesome, but I did want to get this video out for tracking purposes because this has been a very tough seven days financially and actually physically so I had mentioned in my grocery haul a couple of days back that I was sick and I thought I was getting better and I, and I wound up not getting better um, and uh, we figured out what everything is and so let me first okay <laughs> first let's dive into what I normally do so and we'll talk about that. So what am I grateful for? Um, the number one thing that I'm grateful for this week is my emergency fund. Um, it is very nice to have money set aside for when emergencies come up. Um, so that's the number one thing that I'm grateful for. Uh, what worked this week? The thing that worked this week is getting over needing to use my emergency fund because I needed to use my emergency fund three times um, in the last seven days. And that's kind of intense given that I just saved my $500 a little, what did I say, at the end of May, I believe, so a little over a couple of months ago. So it was kind of intense, but it worked to just get over myself and my feelings about it and just use it. Um, what didn't work is um, not having strong income, not having solid income, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more a little bit later. Um, and what do I need to start doing? I need to increase my income. What do I need to stop doing? I need to stop being scared. Um, and so as it relates to just all of the stuff that came up this week, this was a very challenging week for me financially. So um, the first thing that happened is I got sick. So in me being sick, when I first got sick, it was horrible. So I missed two days of work, I believe. Uh, one, two, no, I missed three days of work, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I missed three days of work and work. And then um, as we were moving into Saturday and Sunday, I was like, oh, you know, I'm feeling better, you know, you know, maybe it's past, maybe I just needed the fluids, like, you know, so on and so forth. Turns out not so much. I went to work on Monday and by the end of my shift, like, I was just destroyed. It was, like, not good. Um, and then, so I wasn't, I haven't been able to return to work yet this week just because I've been feeling, like, so lightheaded, just in so much pain, et cetera, et cetera. So, um total time that I haven't been feeling well has been 10 days which is a very long time to not be feeling well and so what I finally had to do was pull myself together and go to the doctor now those of you who have been following me for a while you know that I just canceled my health insurance because it wound up not being something that actually covered anything and so I was very hesitant to go to the doctor because I'm like you know I can't you know like I can't afford literally to go to the doctor which is just just it's not it's just not a position that I want to be in and so I was I was very much in my head and frustrated about that element of not being able to afford to go to the doctor or not wanting to go to the doctor because I did not want to have the medical bill associated with it and so and but I mean I'm also a person who wants to heal naturally but there I know myself enough to know when I'm beyond being able to heal something naturally and when I actually need need medical intervention. And so I moved beyond that point and I realized that I truly wasn't going just because I couldn't afford to go. And that realization like hit me like a ton of bricks and I was so upset and so frustrated. And so I was like, resolved, I'm gonna go to the doctor. And I kid you not, the day that I decided to go to the doctor, I also finally got, I told you guys that I was doing a dispute for my medical stuff that wasn't covered by the insurance. They said it would cover blah, blah, blah. Got both of those bills in the mail that very same day. So one bill was $909, then the other bill was $424.70. And so, you know, 
that's a $1,300 new medical bill um, that I'm going to have to put on my that snowball. But this bill is due now. And so in the back, so the day I'm like, go to the doctor, figure out what's wrong. I get this bill and I'm like, no, I'm not going to. I just, I can't afford to have any other medical uh costs but what winds up happening is i don't go to the doctor but i also am not well enough to go to work and so it's like it's this thing of like well i'm not in a position to earn money but i can't like you know so i'm like livid i'm like pissed off mostly with myself um and just the circumstance i don't like being sick in general but just i don't like having those to be the types of choices that i have to choose between um and so so that made it financially stressful this week to get a $1,300 bill in the mail and to realize that like even though I've disputed this, like I have clearly am responsible for these expenses and this is just something that I'm going to have to pay. Then um, the next day my phone broke and just wouldn't turn on again and I'm like, oh, now I don't have a phone, uh, which isn't that bad except for I do a lot of my... Uh, company work through my phone so I do need a phone and then this week also happens to be the week that my son um started school he started his junior year um a couple of days ago and you know I we don't I he doesn't live with me so one of the ways that we uh stay connected is through the phone couldn't make that uh, that connection um at the time and you know so it's just those sort of like stacking things just just make for a really not awesome week so there was the cost of the phone the unexpected medical um bill and then um i finally decided to go ahead and go to the doctor and thankfully i do have an emergency fund and so when i went to an urgent care facility the total cost with prescription and everything was 190 dollars which that is an inexpensive price to pay for the level of relief that i because i've been sick for 10 days so like that's a long time to be sick and I just need to to get better so but all of that has happened this in, in inside of seven days let me see if there's something else happened um so yeah so total I missed six days a week six days of work so total work time that I've missed is six days of work got sick had to spend 190 out of my emergency fund got a $1,300 unexpected bill couldn't necessarily show up for my son in the way that I wanted to this week one because I was sick but two because my phone just wasn't um working um and so that just made it rough and so i'm sharing all that with you because this week i realized and this is something that you guys have been saying for a very long time that like i need to increase my income and it's only this week that i am well enough to feel the weight of all of this stuff to where i actually want to do something about it and i actually feel capable of doing something about it and, and what i mean by that is that when I initially started sharing my finances with you all, so many of you guys were like, oh, you need to increase your income, you need to increase your income. And the level of pain that I was already in mentally and emotionally, I, I could not feel the weight of what it is that you guys were able to observe just from the conversation that I was having. Like, I couldn't feel the weight of my bills or lack thereof because that is how much emotional, psychological, and mental pain that I was in. It was so overwhelming that there was no space for awareness of other things and so my bare minimum was like okay or my minimum baseline was like okay well I hear what you guys are saying but I it, that's a non-factor given this particular issue and so I'm grateful to be at the place where I'm healthy enough and I'm well enough to be able to feel these problems but these problems suck like they suck and I'm like this is the reason why people know well let me not say people this is the reason why maybe you know like it was a little safer and easier for me to just numb out because it's like this is a lot and it's like I, I can feel the difference in terms of mental psychological and emotional health because I can feel this and it's 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 all it's probably always been here on at some level like I've probably always been on the razor edge financially but now I can feel it because I'm not so overwhelmed psychologically emotionally and mentally and so when I say what I need to start doing is increasing my income I don't mean that um like theoretically I don't mean that from a like oh yeah guys I really need no I mean like yesterday I need to increase my income and so um I've had a lot of time to think about you know some of the shifts that I'm going to make 
um, with my company and some of the shifts that I'm going to make with my part-time job because I need, I, I, the, the, the challenges that I faced this week had the potential to like derail me significantly and me being aware of that and me being able to feel that is information enough for me to say, oh, okay, now you need to apply some of your other skills so that you can earn more money. And and this doesn't mean that I'm no longer going to honor my, I'm only working part-time. No, I'm going to still honor that because I know my constitution and my capacity. I'm still going to honor that, but I do have other skills that I could potentially earn more money um, an hour making, right? Like there are several different options that I have and this is the first week out of the, um, you know, almost a year that I've even thought to consider um, applying some of my other skills so that I can increase my income. And it's specifically because the issue with health insurance is that, you know, our, our medical costs, and this is, I mean, every country is different, but I think that you know the american medical institution whatever it is that you want to call it we get great quality health care um and i think that for the most part insurances are priced properly the issue isn't on them to reduce the cost for me the issue is on me to like grow up and earn the money to be able to pay for the health the level of health care that i want um and and for me specifically, that growing up thing is why I said I need to stop being scared because I'm so afraid to earn more money because I'm afraid that I'm going to be back in the situation I was in where I was taking care of everyone. Um, and because I'm afraid to earn more money, I am now putting myself in a, in a very dangerous situation where I'm remaining sick for multiple days because I don't have insurance. But I don't not have insurance because something's wrong with the insurance industry. I don't have insurance because I haven't stepped up as an adult to take responsibility for my part, whether it be through my income or it be through me finding, you know, better health insurance. And so just having the capacity to be able to like be like, OK, Stacey, all right, you know, um, you have not been comfortable. Right. Um, but you also haven't been 100 percent in. Uh, um, standing up as a fully grown adult citizen participating in this whole economic structure and um, there is a part that you have in that or there there's a part that I have in that and and I need to step up and do that part and so this week while it was the worst week financially for me um, it was a bit of a wake-up call I think the combination of getting sick and then Murphy just showing up out of nowhere um, just really taught me a lot about um or just really revealed to me a lot about like what is next and what what are some of the things that I need to do um next while maintaining and honoring the commitments that I've already made and so and so that's what I'm gonna do so I wanted to pop on this week just to let you guys know that I have gone into my emergency fund for my groceries I went into my emergency fund to go to urgent care um and that I haven't figured out what I'm going to do about these medical bills I I don't think that I'm going to be able to pay them off before they go into collections, which is really unfortunate, but um, I do want to come up with a plan for that and that my next most immediate action is to uh, responsibly figure out how to increase my income. And when I say responsibly, responsibly for me is me honoring and staying committed to my commitment to uh, maintain a part-time schedule um, for my emotional, mental, physical, and psychological health and well-being, but in me having that part-time schedule, figuring out a way to at least double my income so that I'm not this close to the razor's edge. So, um, I did not make any money this week. I do not get paid until uh, Friday, so you will see where that income gets dispersed in the next weekly update. So, until then, I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.